Hello everybody, welcome back to Plain and Simple. Today I wanted to show you uh, one of the most important tools uh, or types of tools that you use in aviation. And that is uh, torque wrenches. Torque wrenches are torque tools. Everything, every hardware in, in aircraft have a, a specified torque value that they're supposed to be tightened or torqued to. Uh, the point the purpose of torquing uh, the hardware is to verify, to, to, to make sure it's tight enough, to make sure it's not too tight. You, know, you, you have the correct amount of preload on the fasteners, on the nuts, bolts, screws, whatever it is. Uh, to make sure you don't damage the hardware, to make sure you don't create damage to the plane, or to make sure that nothing comes loose and falls apart. Um, today I'm going to concentrate on two types of torque tools. A torque wrench, a ra ratcheting, uh, regular torque uh, uh, ratchet wrench, which this is a click type uh, torque wrench, we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to start with a torque screwdriver. This is a, a screwdriver like any other regular screwdriver, except this will give you a reading, or you, you can set it to give you a reading to a specific torque value. For example, this one is it gives you its value in uh, inch pounds and it's rated from 5 to 40 inch pounds. You can see it on the display over here, it'll go from 5 minimum to 40 maximum. That is the range that you can set this to. And what that range does, and I'll show you how to set the, the torque value that you want it to trip at. This down here, this wheel in the bottom, this is how you set the torque value that you want your torque meter to trip itself at. You always start at its minimum setting, at its lowest setting. And you start at zero. And this is all these notches here, these increments, and five inch pound increments each one of those increments is equivalent to one full turn of this knob in the bottom as you can see this is graduated in half pound increments starting from zero we have a 0.5 which is half a pound then one one and a half two three and so on until you do one full revolution and you get back to zero so here's four four and a half, and zero would be your five. So with one full revolution of this knob, it takes you from five uh, inch pounds to 10. If you give it one more full revolution, that takes you from 10 to 15, and then to 20, and 25, etc. And let's say, uh, let's leave this at 10 inch pounds, you lock it in place. And what you're adjusting is the preload. There's a spring here, and you're adjusting the spring of that preload. And that determines how much force it takes for, like, for this tool to cam over and click and let go. For example, let's look. Let me clamp this on the vise. And if I start turning this, as if I was turning a screw, it would get to a point that it would cam over and click like that. That's your indication. That indication that that screw is already tightened to the torque value that you set your, your screwdriver to. So you would be turning your screw until it gets tight. And when this trips, that's it. Your screw is already tightened to the torque value that you set on your dial. In this case, 10 inch pounds. And the aircraft manual will specify what torque value they, the manufacturer or the engineers they, they want you to torque your screws to. That is a screwdriver type uh, torque, torque tool. And there's many other kinds of, of, of um, torque tools. 
This is a ratchet, a ratcheting wrench, just like you would use a normal ratchet for sockets. Uh, and this is a click type ratchet uh, torque tool because it clicks. The indication, the mechanical indication that it gives you when you get to the, to, to the preset uh, torque is it clicks. The head over here comes over. It clicks and it moves out to the side. And I'm going to show you how to set the, this particular torque wrench. Which is very similar to, to, to all of this type of uh, uh, torque tools or torque wrenches. This particular one, and they come in all kinds of range, ranges and sizes for all from, from tiny to super big. This particular one, let's see if the camera can pick that up. This particular one ranges from 20 foot pounds, here's foot pounds. It goes from 20 foot pounds to 100 foot pounds. And this center line over here is your. Uh, your indicator line and zero would be let's say your pointer so you would turn you pull back on this lock collar pull back on this that this lock collar prevents the handle from turning while you're using the wrench so you would pull back on this lock collar and either spin the wrench the ratchet itself or you can spin the handle me personally I prefer to spin the wrench, the, the, the ratchet, and then the handle, because your uh, indication is zero. And let's say the one, they're just like in the uh, in the torque screwdriver, one full turn of the knob will give you, will move you to the next increment marking. The same, the, the, it works the same way here. We have, you start out with a minimum which is 20 uh, foot pounds. Your next notch the next increment is 30 foot pounds which means that you have a 10 pound difference from one to the other that means that one revolution of the handle is equivalent to an increase of 10 foot pounds and you can dial you don't have to go in 10 pound increments you can go in, in one pound instrument uh, increments for example if we start at 20 there's 20 with the zero pointing to that center line you can go to 21, 21 and a half, 22, 23 and a half, 24, etc., etc., until you go 8, 9, and you get back to zero, that's 10. So you have increased 10 foot pounds in your setting over here, so that brings you to 30. If you wanted 50, you would do two more full revolutions of the handle, and it'll get you to 50. And you can keep turning the handle until you get to whatever indication, whatever setting, whatever torque you want to tighten your uh, your hardware to. To 50, 60, 75, whatever foot pounds, whatever the manual requires. And the, the physical and, uh, indication that you get from this when you have reached that, that, that setting, your specified torque value here, is let's say you're, you're tightening the... Um, the, 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 so you're turning the socket, tightening the bolt, and it's you're ratcheting away until it gets tight. When it gets tight, let me uh, lock this up in the vise. You're turning, you're always turning it from the handle. You're ratcheting away until it gets tight, and it clicks. That click, that click you hear, that is the head of a ratchet camming over, clicking over on this pivot, on this pin, on this pivot point. So you're, you're ratcheting away, tightening your bolt until it gets tight, and then you go slow until it clicks. Then you have reached your preset torque value that you specified on the handle.
That's it. That's how. Uh, that's all there is to this. That's all there is to a torque wrench. Now, torque tools, torque wrenches, torque screwdrivers are not specific for aviation. You use them in cars, trucks, buses, weather trains, whatever, on buildings. Um, but they are crucial for aviation because everything has to be tied, tightened to a specified torque value, and that's specified by the manual. Um, so, like I said, this is not specific for aviation, but it is a very, very important everyday use tool in aviation. And now you know how to use them. Uh, like always, same way I always say goodbye. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you find it cool. I hope it helps someone. Uh, stay safe. See you guys next time.